everyone today i will start for class 10 chapter 3 pair of linear equation in two variable chapter 1 and chapter 2 all chapter ncert solution videos are there you can check and i have one updated video for syllabus 2022 and 23 is also there because now your 10th class is starting so you can check what to do and what to leave now first i will give introduction of this chapter in this chapter we will discuss simultaneous linear equation in two variable on this topic and graphical representation of linear equation third we will discuss method of solving linear equation in two variable in method of solving linear equation in two variables there is a two method one is graphically and one is algebraically okay and algebraically there is a three method one is substitution method second is annihilation method and third is cross multiplication method for this year cross multiplication method is deleted from your syllabus and we will discuss condition of solubility or consistency and application or word problem now first basic concept term i am telling you a term is a combination of four mathematic elements first which is necessary sign should be there either positive either negative number any real number third variable should be there a b c x y z b etc and exponents exponents means power for example 3x square this is a term you can check there is a sign it is a positive sign number 3 is a real number variable x variable is used exponent means power x power 2 hope you understood term now i will tell you algebraic expression algebraic expression a combination of constant and variable constant means 3 4 5 this is a constant and variable x y z p q r what are you using connected by four fundamental arithmetic operations means plus minus multiply and divide sign you will use that is called algebraic expression for example 3 minus 7x here x is a variable minus sign is used 9y square plus 8 these are the example of algebraic expression now i will tell you what is equation equation and algebraic expression is equated means you have to write the sign equal when is equal to something equated to some constant variables or other algebraic expression then that relationship is called equation for example 3x plus 7 equal to 10 here equal sign is there x square minus 7x plus 10 equal to 0 now i will tell you about linear equation if the greatest exponent means power of variable is 1 then the equation is called linear equation for example 3x plus 11 equal to 0 x nothing power is here means maximum power is 1 9y y is a variable y power is 1 so that type of a equation called linear equation now linear equation in two variable equation of in the form ax plus by plus c here two variable should be there x and y you can check here x and y here was only single variable only x plus c c is a constant equal to 0 and here condition is that a should not be 0 and b should not be 0 if a is a 0 to x multiply 0 it will be zero b is a zero linear equation in two variable equation in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to zero here two variable are used x and y c is a constant term here a should not be zero and b should not be zero it is a condition check if a is a zero so zero multiply x is zero b is a zero and only constant term will left so if linear equation in two variable a and b should not be zero that type 
is called linear equation in two variable. For example, 3x minus 2y minus 1 equal to 0. Either you can say 3x minus 2y, this 1 will become here and positive will be there. x plus y equal to 2 or either x plus y if these two come here minus 2 and here will come 0. These are the example of linear equation in two variables. Now next dependent and independent variables of linear equation in two variables. For example, 3x plus 2y equal to 5. We can express this x in the term of y. 3x and 5 is here. This 2y, when come this right side, it will change the minus sign. And 3 is multiply here. 3 will be divide here. Now, x is in the form of y. Express in the form of y. 5 minus 2y by 3. And we can assume any value of y, then we get the value of x. It means x depend on the value of y. So x is dependent. And same equation, we can express y in the term of x also. For example, 3x plus 2y, same equation I'm taking, equal to 5. 3x plus 2y equal to 5. 2y equal to 5. This 3x is positive. It come here right side, change the sign negative. And this 2 is multiplied here and it will be divided here. Now, y depend on the value of x. Either we put the value x 0, 1, 2, any. So here y is dependent on the value of x. So y is dependent. And system of simultaneous equation, set of two linear equations in two variable written in the form if one equation is there, I am writing a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. Same condition, a1 should not be 0 and b1 should not be 0. And in the form of one this and other, a2x, b2y and c2. Here a2 should not be 0 and b2 should not be 0. Is known as system of simultaneous linear equation in two variables. If we want to get solution of this equation, so there are two methods. One is a graphically and one is algebraically method. Now I am telling you graphical method. Now first I am telling graphical method system of simultaneous equation. If x equal to a and this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis and this line is parallel to y-axis then x equal to a. And check when y equal to b, this line is parallel to x-axis and here this line is parallel to y-axis. And sometimes you get the graph when two lines intersecting each other. In graph, when you see this line, when lines are parallel to x-axis or y-axis, there is a no solution and inconsistent. And when they intersected at origin or either in one point, it means they are consistent and we will get unique solution. Now, consistency and inconsistency of system of simultaneous linear equation. Now I am telling algebraically. Previous I have told you graphically. Two equations are a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. Here a1 not equal to 0 and b1 not equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 where a2 should not be 0 and b2 should not be 0. When you check this condition a1 divided by a2 okay not equal to b1 by b2 then system is said to be consistent and with unique solution means one solution. When a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 then inconsistence and no solution. Third, a1 a2 equal to b1 b2 by c1 c2 then system is consistent and there are infinite many solution. Now these were the basic. Please listen carefully. One or two time you listen this video. Okay, then in next video, I will start 
एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट वन थैंक यू